Tough one in sports. Today was supposed to be the day baseball fans, Yankees, Mets fans waited all winter for opening day. Mm -hmm. City Field, look at it there. It's empty. It was supposed to be packed as they hosted the defending champs, the Nationals and the Yankees. They were set to play in Baltimore. But the pandemic, of course, has put the field of dreams on hold. We have news for us, Bruce Beck, live at home on what should be a celebratory day, Bruce. Natalie, being home on opening day is no fun. I like the real opening day at baseball, at the ballpark, the crack of the bat, the shouting play ball. But we are living in a new era. And today, silence replaced all the things that we love to hear at the ballpark, like cheers and even booze around baseball. First game of spring, opening day, all these kind of earmarks on the calendar that you know, get the juices flowing. That was Aaron Boone after the first full squad workout of the spring. But it could have been this morning in Baltimore as the Yankees were set to take on the Orioles on opening day. But baseball, like the rest of the country, has been taken prisoner by the outbreak of COVID-19. So the boys of summer must wait as stadiums go dark. Opening day is a time for fresh starts and new beginnings. <sighs> Wow. There are familiar faces in new places and old faces in the same spaces. It's a day to forget the sins of the past. All 30 teams begin the march to October, all with one goal in mind. But today, that goal has changed. And perhaps Boone said it best. Missing opening day today, let's all do our part in bringing baseball back soon. The Mets and the Yankees might have the two best pitchers in all of baseball this year in Jacob deGrom and Garrett Cole. They both would have been on the mound today. So it's a sad day for ball players, for managers, and for the fans. But I think, Stefan and Natalie, everyone knows all too well that right now, health and safety are the primary concerns. Definitely the most important things. All right, Bruce, thanks so much. We appreciate it.